Hi! Oh my god. I feel so, I feel so awkward already because uh, I haven't put the video in like months probably. I don't even know how long honestly. But me and Lizzie were out shopping and we went to this store called Rocket Fizz which has like all kinds of weird vintage foreign candies and things like that and yeah. I may or may not have spent like $53 accidentally. That's because it was uber expensive. I didn't even look at prices. I was just like grabbing stuff. I was like, yeah, this one and this one and this one and I'll take it all. And then I get up to the counter and she's like, so $53. And I'm like, oh my God, really? And she was like, yeah, really? So I figured we would make a video of it. So I have all of the things here. So I guess we'll just like grab one and try and it. Try. So this is the one that I was most excited about. These are um, orange Jaffa cakes, which- They look really good. Yeah, so I actually follow a girl on Instagram and she posted a picture of these and I was like, ooh, those seem kind of good. So I was gonna buy them online, but then when I saw that they had them there, I was like, well, I should just buy them here and get them. So this box was $5.99 and there mm -hmm. is, I don't even know how many in here. Well, there's, the certain size is two. And there's four and a half servings, so like what? There's like maybe ten in here. So let's crack her open. Ooh. Another package. There's like it's like in a little tray. I wish it was resealable because you know they're probably gonna get stale before I can eat six dollars worth of them. But like whatever. Yeah. I'll let you take and one. One broke. You know, as as they do. Ooh, they're squishy. This is what it looks like. It just smells like chocolate. Mm. So it's like like a soft cookie and then it's got like a chocolatey mousse on the inside. Mm. They're pretty good actually. I'd give it a solid like 8 out of 10. Yeah. I'm it's not mad. Maybe 7 and a half. That's fair. Alright, so the next thing that I was pretty excited about was these Kinder Happy Hippo Biscuits. Now... I'm pretty sure these are probably just like regular, like Kinder Bueno, except they're not covered in chocolate and they're shaped like hippos, which I was intrigued hippos. because hippos are my favorite animal. So I was like, well, hello. And I like that they're individually wrapped. So yeah. unlike the other cookies, they probably won't get stale. I mean, they might, but you know. That's only if you leave the package open. So there's five in here and this box was $7.99. Oh my God. So take that as you will. Only five for eight dollars. That's ridiculous. They're hippo shaped wafer biscuits with creamy, milky, hazelnut filling. A little hippo. Ooh, it's, co it's coated in like coconut or something. It's making, oh my God, they have eyeballs and eyebrows. OMG. Look how cute they are. <laughs> it looks so derpy. And it's got a little tail on the butt and everything. I kind of love this. This is a moment. I'm just gonna bite its face off. It's tail though. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's stuck. Ooh. I kind of like it. Mmm. 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 It's a lot of like white chocolate, which is like not, not my favorite. I'm not a fan of white chocolate. Yeah. It's a lot of like. Not, it doesn't taste like hazelnut to me. It tastes more just like white chocolate. Where is the hazelnut? Well, I think there was some like on the top, but there's definitely not, oh, maybe not. Eh, I'd give it like a four out of 10. I would give it a higher score. There it is. Oh, okay. I mean, I still give it like a four just because it's a hippo and it's cute. It, it tastes good at first, but eh, Ugh. it's too much for me. So another thing I was excited about was these Maltesers, which I feel like every time you watch like a British show, they always talk about these. Oh, for sure. So this bag was $2.69. Now I'm pretty sure this is just like a Whopper. Oh, But yeah. like, British. <laughs> a British Whopper. So let's get some of these bad boys up out of here. Thanks. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you had a Whopper, it's the same thing. Although, I think there's more chocolate on this. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm not mad. They're a good, good movie night snack. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, 
like solid like I'd give it again eight out of ten yeah not bad okay so these ones honestly I'm not 100% sure if these are actually British or not uh, but they were at the same store, so we're going to say they are. Shh. They were in the same section. Yeah, so if they're not, if you're British and these aren't British, feel free to leave hate comments. It's fine. Um, <laughs> these were $1.89. They are Raindrops Crunchy Chewies Apple Flavor. That sounds delicious. Yeah, I'm excited because they look like they have an interesting texture. Tiny apples. Yeah. <laughs> so let's find out. Are they actually shaped like a little apple? Oh, no, they're not. I love these shaped like apples, but they're just literally little balls. I'm just gonna pop off all few of them in my mouth. They are chewy. They're not that crunchy. They are chewy though. It's getting stuck in my teeth. Honestly, the flavor is not that strong. And I do get stuck in your teeth for sure. It's like a mild, mild granny smith. Yeah. I feel like you'd better off just getting skills. Yeah. I'd, I'd enjoy those more. I would love an apple skin. I give it like a 3.5 out of 10. Two and a half. <laughs> Two and a half. <laughs> just for the fact that they're not crunchy, really. I thought they'd be crunchy. And they're currently stuck in my molars. So, yeah. It's a fun time. <laughs> All right. So, the next thing is the british smarties now whenever i think of smarties i think of like the little like circular disc things that come in a tube that you eat you know sugary things you got some yeah i did get some they had sour ones and i was like yes anyways one of my favorite candies but smarties in england are these little chocolate candies they're chocolate yeah it's chocolate i think they're basically like teeny tiny like m m kind of things because they're just candy coated milk chocolate so That's these ones for some reason are nfl brand i don't know why but this Little box here was $3.39. That's ridiculous. Which is like, I could buy just a bag of M&M's for like a dollar, but I digress. So, let's see, what's what's up? I actually was watching an episode of Pawn Stars where this guy brought in like a vintage Smarties dispenser that turned out to basically be like a hidden gambling thing, but... Ooh. Oh, I, they're bigger than I thought they were. Ooh. But they're chocolate? The colors are weird. They're like pastel, whereas like the M&Ms are more vibrant, I guess. Um, but I thought they'd be way tinier than this. Pink. Yeah. They Wait, there's a purple one. Yeah, literally just an M&M. Oh. But that was good. I thought they'd be sweet. It tastes like that like off-brand M&Ms that you get like for Easter. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Yes. That, like your grandma bought for like at the dollar store or whatever. I give it a four out of ten. I give it like a one out of ten because it's not at all. It's eh, whatever. It's I'd rather just get M and M's. They taste old and stale. I'd rather get mini M and M's. Yeah, but I feel like that's what I expected. I expected like teeny tiny little niblets. Oh well. No niblets. <laughs> all right, so moving on a little bit from chocolate again here. This is Ooh. Broadway Strawberry Roll. Again, this is a thing that I don't know for sure if it's British, and if it's not, <coughs> I'm choking on a Smarty. If it's not, t feel free to correct me. Yeah. Um, but I, pers I know this is controversial, but I personally am a Twizzlers lover. I love Twizzlers. I, I feel like people are always hating on Twizzlers. I'm a strawberry Twizzler girl. Yes! People think that it's just like unflavored, but I oh, like them. They're amazing. Like, don't be a hater. It's a fruit roll up. And this is like a yeah, like a fruit roll up version, maybe of a Twizzler. Want to just like pull, like oh we could we should do Lady the Tramp. Thumbnail. Ew. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's hard. It's, you can't even bite into it. Oh wait. Ew. Once you get it going, it's not bad. No. You don't like it? I kind of like it. Absolutely not. It tastes like mm. plastic. Really? Yeah. I like it. I give it like like a 6 out of 10. 1. 1 out of 10. Well, I like it. I Not my preference. The flavor is definitely not all like a Twizzler. The texture is way different. Like it's, it doesn't like chew as easily. I wasn't expecting it. It's like fruit leather, but like actual leather. <laughs> Yeah, not pleather. But I like it. <laughs> All that being said. 
Okay, so this is one that I'm honestly most excited about only because of the fact that it was the most expensive. So I'm like, I have Cadbury. high expectation for it. So it's a Cadbury Flake. This is another thing that I've seen a lot on like British TV shows. Really? Now this, oh yeah, like on people talking about, okay, so if y'all ever watched this British show on YouTube called Super Size or Super Skinny, there is a segment in one of the earlier seasons where they talk about, uh, they, uh, Anna Richardson has her like lab fighters club. This is totally unrelated, but I remember them talking about this at one point and they're like, how many hours you have to vacuum to like burn one of these off. Come on. Totally random, not related, but here's a, here's a cat drape flake. Um, and this bar cost me $4 and 49 cents. And when I saw the receipt, I was like, for what? Overpriced. For what though? Literally, it's um, uh, just says candy. <laughs> oh, great, love that. So we so don't. I have no idea. America. No idea what it tastes like, but I guess we're gonna find out. It's probably like a Cadbury egg in them. I hope them. not because I hate those. I hate Cadbury cream eggs. They're literally disgusting. They taste like oh, tastes like vomit. This looks like a turd. <laughs> oh yeah. Is this what it's supposed to look like, or did ours get fucked up? Um, Is this normal? Looks like a wooden wall. Why does he, it looks like a stick. Like, I just walked outside and grabbed, like, an old, crusty stick from the woods, but, oh, I mean, oh. Interesting. I am so, oh. <laughs> and Lizzie just made a huge mess. Love that for me. It's literally just shaved chocolate. It's just shaved chocolate. Um. I paid almost five dollars for some crusty chocolate. It's shaved chocolate put back together is what it is. Anybody out there who enjoys these? Why? No wonder they call it Cadbury Flake. Yeah, because you it leaves chocolate flakes everywhere. Again, if you like, please please explain why, because I don't understand. I give it a negative two out of ten. I agree. Not not impressed. Not pleased. Waste of my $5. Could have bought a coffee instead. Could have bought a coffee. Could have bought a coffee. So speaking of coffee, this Ooh. is a Nestle Coffee Crisp, which when I saw this, I was like, yes. That sounds yummy. Anything coffee flavored, like honestly, I'm here for it. I'm in love with coffee. And this kind of, it just looks like, um, almost like one of those like nutty bars kind of, mm. but coffee, which I'm intrigued by. Coffee bar. Let's see if I can get this bitch open. Excited. Interesting. It doesn't break. There's a little cross section moment. It looks exactly like it does on the package. Wow. Oh, like, it smells like like instant there's coffee. No false advertising. Straight up. It's very hard. To, if you you probably better off just biting into it, but for the sake of the, of, of content, it smells like instant coffee. Yeah, it does. Mmm. Yo. That was good. Now this one, this is where it's at. Oh, I ripped the package, but. You should have got, how I much were got, they? Oh, this was $3.99. Um, but honestly worth it. Instead of getting this thing. Yeah, instead of wasting your money on a flake, get two of these instead. Get two of the coffee. This is really good. This is amazing. 11 out of 10. I love this. Yeah, this this one is for sure my favorite. I'm gonna finish it. So this is another thing that I've seen a lot on um, like British content, and this is fruit pastels. Which honestly, I'm pretty sure these are just like little hard candies. I've heard a lot about. Um, oh wait, no, they're squishy. It feels squishy. This is only one ninety nine. So Claire Siobhan talks a lot about. Pastels. I don't know how to say. It. I think it's just fruit pastels. Pastels. pastels? pastels. Correct me. Oh gosh, the first one looks like a gross color. Oh, gross. oh it's, it's grape, okay. No, thank you. I hate grape. You want orange? Sure. Mmm, I like it. It just tastes like, um, like a gummy. Here it is. Yeah, it's good. Mmm, yeah. I like it. It's just like a sugary gummy like any you get anywhere else, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like a gumdrop. Yeah. I mean, hey, I say 10 out of 10. I like gummies. I'm here for it. 10 out of 10. And it's only $1.99, so. Worth it. 
hella. Now, I don't know if you're the type of person who enjoys, um, like, those conversation hearts that you get, like, around Valentine's mm. Day. I don't but like to eat them. I have a feeling that's probably what these love hearts are. Probably, yeah. Because, I mean, it, said, it has, like, the little conversation hearts on the front, but they're just, like, big discs this instead. This is also $1.99. Yeah, again, only $1.99. Probably because it's basically just glorified sugar discs. Mmm, <laughs> sugar disc. I love a sugar disc. Oh, Ooh. they have words on them, though. Cute. Meant to be. I can't get another that? one out. I don't know if you can see that. I can't get one. I can't get it out. Unflavored. They're yeah. That's what I, I feel like. It's literally just like a piece of sugar. Mine says "kiss me." Ooh. Oh, it's kind of tart at first. It's kind of like a smarty, but less flavor. Mine doesn't have a flavor really. It doesn't like it's like tart, but then it's gone. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. For what it is, five out of ten. I think it was like a three. I couldn't eat like this whole roll. I would get a stomachache. I yeah, same. I'm also still watering from it. Okay, so there's one more thing left. One more. And I don't know if this is available like in U.S. usually, but I've never seen it before. I've never seen a Kit Kat chunky. Yeah, a Kit Kat chunky, and this is actually um cookie dough flavor. Ooh, interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm intrigued because it has like the layer of wafers and then like a little layer That's of cookie basically dough. cookie dough, I guess. So this is also three ninety nine. Oh, a little steep, but we'll see. King size Kit Kat is yeah, it's a big uh, boy. <laughs> Take that as you will. I mean, the pieces are large. Ooh, that is a large boy. I dropped it. I see the cookie dough. You get three little nuggets in there. Smells like a cookie dough. It kind of got melty because we drove home in like 80 degree weather. Almost 90 degrees. Mm. It's a lot. Yeah. But it's not bad. I wouldn't say it tastes necessarily like cookie dough. I'm just getting chocolate. A lot of chocolate. It just tastes just like a really thick Kit Kat, which is basically what it is, I guess. Yeah. I'm not mad, though, but... It's a thick one. I'd say, like, 5 out of 10. Yeah, 5 out of 10. It's a Kit Kat, but big. <laughs> big old boy. So there you have it. All right, so that is everything that we got um, that we have to try for you guys. Um, moral of the story, the only thing worth purchasing really it was the coffee, coffee crisp. Yeah. So if you ever find yourself um, looking for British snacks... Highly recommend this one. Mm. Other ones I could probably do without. Coffee crisp for the win. We'll definitely be finishing this one, probably pitching the rest of it, but this one yeah, was really good. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye. I hope you enjoyed it. Or I guess we're saying goodbye already. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah. I was going to do a moment, but, you know, deuces, I guess. Leave a comment if you would try any of these. Or if you have tried these, like, which one is your be is your favorite? Like, do you think we're wrong? Let me know. I think I'm correct. But what Leave do like, I know? Subscribe. Buy a Coffee Crisp. Not sponsored, obviously. But, not not sponsored. But if, hey, Coffee Crisp, buy... No, please, ne <laughs> Nestle would never sponsor me. Let's be realistic <laughs> here. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like. Or okay. dislike. Thumbs up. Either way. I'm down here for it. All right. See you in a few months. Bye. Bye. <laughs>